Welcome to another episode of Confessions of an Agricultural Teacher Educator. This is the Youth Development Series. The purpose of this series of Periscope Reflections is to role model reflection own practice for our teacher candidates. Immediately after every class I teach, I take two or three minutes and just say, this is what I thought happened, this is how it can perhaps be a more effective teaching episode. Today in Ag Ed 311, we had the opportunity to learn some about the history of the student organization um, and background, specifically New Farmers of America. Now, most folks do learn about this in teacher preparation programs, but most of the time it's through lecture or reading wonderful journal articles or exploring historical artifacts. Today we did it in a different way. Today we were blessed to be joined by Dr. Connie Baggett. Uh, Dr. Baggett is a professor here uh, in our department uh, and is a former NFA member from North Carolina. And so we were able to explore through the eyes of a former member and someone still involved in agricultural education, a Vietnam veteran, uh, someone who's contributed to the advancement of agricultural education. And it's, as a teacher, uh, I witnessed the power of the personal narrative, the power of the individual story. Students were engaged in listening and learning from someone in their life experiences as opposed to reading about somebody that they might not know. Um, so when we look at teaching and sharing things, I, I just reminded myself that sometimes it's not always about the learning structure, perhaps, the activity or how well designed it is. It's about the emotional connection and connecting in the affective domain. And quite frankly, um, the personal powerful narrative that we saw today evidenced that. The second half of the class, which was fun, is that we allowed the students to start working on their mind maps. I think all too often students view each class session as a separate episode as opposed to thinking, how does this fit in the overall schema and the essential question of the course of what we're trying to, to accomplish, or better yet, in the schema of who do I wish to be as a professional? And so working in teams, we were looking to create a mind map or a conceptual framework of how the adolescent youth development theories, experiential learning theory, the expectations of the profession from both AAAE for the competencies of teacher candidates and from the Council for Ag Education for program standards uh, for secondary school-based ag ed programs, from the essential elements from the National FFA of a successful FFA chapter, to the course syllabus and assignments and how do all of these things work together to accomplish our goal to be the positive agents of change we wish to be through the framework of youth development of student organization and experiential learning. Um, so they got to apply and work in teams of showing those relationships. Uh, as I watched that work I was also reminded that sometimes great learning happens when we get out of the way and that time is needed to be given so that people can develop relationships of content or frameworks that make sense to them. Um, so we'll provide time at the start of the next session uh, for them to complete that task as we begin to explore about our first major authentic assessment of officer selection and development. Thank you for tuning in to Confessions of an Agriculture Teacher Educator. I hope to connect with you uh, on the World Wide Web. We are uh, just about a week away from National Teach Ag Day, so I hope that you're creating your celebration opportunities. Thank you again for tuning in, and uh, goodbye.